In this video, we provide the solution to question number 12 for practice exam number three for Math 1030, in which case we have an apportionment problem where we have six states for which we need to apportion 200 seats amongst those six states, and we're going to do that using Hamilton's method. So some things that I do need to compute. I need to figure out what the total population that is not provided to me, but if I take these numbers right here and add them all together, you're going to get the total population which is going to be 100. But be aware, this might have been somewhat obvious. If you're like, oh, these are just the population percentages, so the percentages should add up to be 100%. That makes sense. But regardless, we do know what the to total population is. Um, using the total population, we can now compute the standard divisor, which is critical for Hamilton's method. So we're going to take the total population, which is 100%, and we then divide it by the number of seats, which is 200, right? That was listed up here. And so that's going to give us a standard divisor of one half or 0.5 if you prefer there. And so using that standard divisor, we're going to compute all of the standard quotas. So I'm going to take, for example, 11.37 and I'm going to divide it by 0.5. Or if you want to think of it, you're timesing it by two. So dividing by one half is the same thing as timesing by two. So you take 11.37 times it by two, you're going to get 22.74. I'm just going to do two decimal places here. Then the next one, 8.07, if you times it by two, you get 16.14. Um, 38.62 times it by two, you get 77.24. Um, 14.98, if you times that by two, you're gonna get 29.96. 10.42 times two gives you 20.84. And then lastly, 16.54, um, if you times that by two, you're gonna get 33.08. And so then with this, Hamilton's method gives everyone their lower quota. So you're going to give state A 22 seats, state B gets 16, state Charlie gets 77, state Delta gets 29, state uh, Echo gets 20, and state Foxtrot there is going to get 33. But then look at how many we have right there. So if you take 22 plus 16 plus 77 plus 29 plus 20 plus 33, that adds up to be 197, um, which is three short. So we have a surplus of three. So we need to figure out who's the most deserving amongst them. So looking at the residues, uh, the biggest residue would be 0.96. So we're gonna bump state D up to 30 seats. Uh, next, I'm looking, the next big, biggest residue would be 0.84. Uh, so E is gonna get upgraded to 21. And then finally, the next biggest residue is going to be 0.74 for state A. Uh, so we're going to give the last remaining seat to state A, giving 23. So the correct apportionment using Hamilton's method would be 23, 16, 77, 30, 21, and 33 for states A, B, C, D, E, F, respectively.